Hi everybody, this is Random Fix, and on a previous video I showed people how to go ahead and install a stealth shore power plug like that. And this is what actually plugs into it. But the worst thing that can happen is if your inverter's on and you plug it into household electricity, you're gonna have some planes happening. So this video is all about automatic transfer switches, and I've actually gone ahead and installed mine right underneath there underneath the inverter so if you guys want to learn how to go ahead and install that some ideas to make the connections really easy and for saying to until the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some special gifts hey everybody welcome back to the channel here and this video is all about automatic transfer switches and before you ask what an automatic transfer switch is let me go ahead and try to give you guys the layman's version of it when you plug into the house electricity to charge your batteries or to operate your microwave oven, stove, TVs, whatever it is, it will go ahead and basically disconnect the inverter here and engage the house electricity as that has priority. And then if you go ahead and wire it up the way I'm showing you guys, it will also go and charge up the battery on your sprinter or camper van and on your camper van so that way you'll have a freshly charged battery you're not taking any risks with fires and you're never gonna have to have any worries and it's super easy guys and I highly recommend it these are some of the reasons why you want to get an automatic transfer switch and it's a very cheap inexpensive item it's about a hundred dollars and if you don't have any experience in wiring it up i'm going to show you guys some pretty cool connectors in the video that work and you'll also find links down below where you can go ahead and grab that if you don't want to sit there and mess with the wires for hours it'll make your job super easy to do it it really didn't take as much time as i thought i would take once i had the seat removed so i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and do that now and for saying tune until the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of free gifts. So I'm going to give you guys this diagram on the different systems and what voltage they're on. And lastly, I'm going to give you guys this colorful diagram here that you can better understand what's happening and where all the chassis grounds need to be, where you're going to go and hook up your battery charger. So when you go plug into shore power, it's going to automatically engage the battery charger, which is going to top off your batteries and you have no worries how cool is that stay tuned and if you ever thought about putting an automatic transfer switch in your camper van I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video so this is a transfer switch that we're using here from go power it's a 30 amp transfer switch and I got it hooked up right here and I was about to just go ahead and put it all back together because I have a little bit of a more detailed setup so I have the transfer switch I have this platform and then there's my inverter so what I did on my setup guys is I actually ran the power to the very front so on my sprinter here it goes down here up through here and through the firewall right there through one of the factory hey everybody if you're enjoying the video here on the automatic transfer switch setup please go ahead and consider giving the video a thumbs up if it's helpful. If you guys are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free. And you guys can check out the whole Sprinter build playlist and how I went ahead and built this out in 28 days. And it was a lot of work, but I'm glad I'm able to share this experience with you guys. So stay tuned and you'll find all the links in the video description down below to anything that I use in the video. Thank you cutouts so basically you can go through and just put a zip tie on that there's my wire so my wire is just hanging right now I'm gonna go ahead and install that as well so my plug is gonna go somewhere right here because I actually don't want to drill into the metal and so far this is working good so I'll give you guys a quick little demo here of what ha actually happens so let's pretend this is the inverter right here and we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Turn on the inverter. And the automatic transfer switch has about a 30 second delay. 
So after 30 seconds, what's going to end up happening is that pump over there is actually going to turn on. So you want to make sure when you're doing this, try to go ahead and overbuild your system a little bit. So I actually ran some extra wires here and um, there's the pump. I went, ran the remote wire to the driver's seat too, where it goes across over there. And I also ran another about a 12 or 14 gauge wire for alternating current back here. So this is actually going to work for my battery charger. And the way it works is the very first connection right here towards the front. So if you have the ground bar to the left. You want to look at this and what I did on this one, instead of actually opening up the case, what I noticed was this particular transfer switch came with these, they call them Wagyu lever nuts here. And they were pretty amazing and I really like the setup of them. So actually I'm using this for a lot of the connections in the sprinter here. And what I realized is if I actually go through and make a triple connection here, whenever I get shore power automatically my battery charger which is going to be hooked up to this other line right here and runs down will turn on as well so now it actually does a couple of things it does the automatic transfer switch function it also automatically engages the battery charger anytime I have shore power which is going to make my life even easier and I went ahead and wired up the rest so I'm going to put the rest of this together but I wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of the wiring so my power from the front that I just showed you guys comes in and it's on this cord here it goes to the very first connection and what I did is instead of having a two lever nut I actually got a three lever nut right here so they're actually all connected one is to the battery charger and the other one is to the transfer switch. Then the middle connection right here, right there, is actually going to be my inverter, which sits right on top of that. So basically, it'll plug into this little outlet right here. And then the very rear one is basically to the AC of the vehicle. So the panel so that one's actually running out on this bigger cable right here so AC panel inverter and the very fir first one right here is your power cord or your short power and to the short power you can go ahead and connect one extra lead or you can go right on it as well there's an extra screw if you guys look inside here and that way your battery charger turns on automatically. I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit more paranoid about these lever nuts here. And I'm going to go ahead and tape these down. I'm going to put the box on and finish up the rest of my setup. And I'll show you guys it working towards the end. Um, but I did want to show you guys how to go ahead and wire up this particular transfer switch. If you guys had any questions. And I went ahead and also grounded everything out. So this is my grounding bar right here here's my grounding cable and I'm gonna go to a grounding point right here I also have one for the inverter which is this one right here and the reason I'm keeping my setup like this guys is because this is the way the car came from Mercedes-Benz so I'm trying to utilize whatever was already in here so I know your setup might be a little bit different and I made a little bit of a rough diagram before I started just so when I started doing it it didn't confuse me even further so the battery charger and the short power coming on the first one the inverter and then the very top lead is going to be to your AC panel and the bus for the ground should be on your left hand side just like it is right now and go ahead and connect all your green wires right there so you want to always start off with the grounds then you want to go ahead and go with the white wires here and then you want to go ahead and connect the black wires last and 
these nuts are amazing so if you guys have never used them check them out you can also use them for stereo wiring they make a through nut so basically power will go through it it has a whole bunch of different connections i'll have a link to these in the video box below okay everybody so now that we've seen how the automatic transfer switch goes in and some ideas of locating it underneath the seat here and that it can work i want to hear back from you guys what did you guys think about my installation was it clear if you guys have any comments please leave them down below and if you guys got some other ideas that could even improve the van here please let me know as well as i always love learning about new techniques and ways of looking at things thank you so much for checking out the video again and at the end of the video here you guys are going to see some cards that might help you with your van belt and you'll find links to those videos in the description down below and make it a great day